Today we're demonstrating the function test for the GSM-12. So when I get it out of the package, the first thing I do is turn around and you see all of the inputs to the arms are jumpered. However, to function, I have to remove jumper 21 and 7. That is the remote start. The next thing I do is connect my solenoid. So the air supply is connected at the bottom and I'm going to use a wink indicator for my solenoid at the top. And we can power the box up. This can start up, you'll hear the alarms. So I hit I can hit alarm stop with the key, I hold nil and back, and hit station reset, hit reset again, and that tells me my little solenoid is activated. In other words, solenoid valve opened, my indicator shows it. Then to test the alarms, I take a screwdriver, Remove the alarm. Number one I'm going to remove first. That will be high delivery. We do that and turn it around. It's about a 10-15 second delay. We'll see that the, I'll turn the alarm off and we see the valve closed. The alarm indicator, as you can see with the solenoid indicator, that uh, what I do to close the circuit, I put the jumper back in, I can hit reset and the circuits, the box is resetted in an in, 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 in operational state. Now a warning, I will pick a gas detector warning which is between 4 and 18. So I go back here to 4. I remove the jumper, turn the box around, then at that time I get an, an audible alarm, an indicator, and however the box is solenoid is open and the circuit is, your gas circuit is functional. That's just letting you know that something may be about to happen. So that alarm has to be cleared. And no reset has to be pushed because the uh, solenoid was not closed. And that basically tells me that my alarms are working.